Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Tuesday. Some people are back at work and at school and hope you all have a great, uh, you had a great vacation, summer vacation and that you have a great fall. Got a request, um, actually have quite a few requests for breast cancer, um, how to make breast cancer pins out of polymer clay. So I'm going to do one really quickly. Um, this is, you know, you would use a pink color. This is a piece of my scrap clay, like I always say, and um, I'm just using this, but you would use obviously pink. Um, as you can see, I just rolled it out thick. You want it around, I think this is about a little bit over four inches. So you want it around four inches at your longest point. And what you want to do is you want to cut, let's cut away all the extra um, clay and we'll keep it at its longest, longest point. And you want it about, um, I want to kind of give you guys a measurement so you kind of get an idea. I would say maybe quarter inch, quarter inch wide. I'm not going to really measure it that, you know, but that's where I'm give, giving you the idea of how wide to have it for your strip. So we're left with this strip. Let's move in a little bit. Okay. And all you want to do, and you want to make sure when you do it that it's even, even, you know, you can use your ruler, you can use, um, you know, to kind of make it more straight on, because that's what you, re you really want to make sure it's straight. So you would be a little bit more careful than me. I see it's a little bit thicker up with that end. Okay, so now we have our clay and you want to kind of stick your finger here and kind of roll it because we want to make it like this. Does that make sense? I'm going to try to do it backwards so you all can see. So you kind of see this and you want to fiddle with it just a little bit so you kind of get that look on the inside, but you want it to be flat here where it connects. And you just kind of, you know, if you want it a little bit, your uh, ribbon on the inside to be a little bit, you can flatten this if you want. Hold it with your finger a little bit tighter to cross it over. See? And I don't like that little, and it really doesn't matter because you're making them and the whole point is these are going to be pink and everybody's going to know what they are. But it's really that simple. And you just kind of fuss around with it a little bit until you get it to the way that you want it. If you want this part to be flat, let's do this. Have it go over your finger. So you have it, see how it's flat? Let's do it again. It's so hard to explain. <laughs> I hope you guys can see and learn. So it's all flat still, so just kind of hold it. And we're going to put this part down. This is going to be our curve, but we're going to set it, hold it over with our finger. Hold it down with our finger as we cross over. Just give it a little touch there so it holds. And then this will be flat. And then you can arrange your it just takes a little fiddling. Nothing nothing major. Okay. And you have your pin, your clay. And if you want to have it like flattened out, you can kind of push it down. So when you go over, there you go. See, I like it up. My clay is kind of stretching a little bit the more I do it, but I like it just to, 
kind of do this and I kind of just lay it over and I like to kind of play with it so I get the shape I want because I like it sticking up. Then you can form this whatever way you want. If you want it wider, if you want it not, you know. And then take your ends and you want to make them, they're like at an angle. And you have a great breast cancer ribbon. Let's see if, see if I lift it up, it's gonna be, get a little bit more distorted. And it's stretching out a little bit, you know, a little bit for me because I've been playing with it. So let's cut another piece. Start it over. So you can see again. I'm just cutting it. I got my piece. I'm going to stick my finger. And I'm going to take it around. And I like the way it has dimension and you just give it a little press there. And if you want to pull these up, you can in the middle and you give it the shape that you want. Cut these so they're even. Let me see. You could put a nice little, after you bake this or even before, if it's glass, a little crystal in there, a pink crystal. You could put a hole in here with your skewer or your hole maker before you bake it. And then when it's done, you could put a, make this a necklace or do two and make a pair of earrings. These are really great to do. And if you don't have pink, use whatever color you have. And then you can just paint them when you're done, a pink acrylic paint. So that's really basically all you do. Like I said, everybody, there's a million different ways people do it because um, there's a million different ways to do it. And you would take a little bit more time and make sure, you know, you have the right, you know, I have colors mixed in here and it's older clay and it's I've been using it for all kinds of demos, but you see the general idea. And that's really it. Again, you could take it apart, lay it out, cross it over. And if you cross it over this way, you get more dimension. See how I did that? Take it in my hands, lay that down, cross it over so it both lifts up. I want it to be a little bit more even because I already cut it, but no big deal. And then this gives you a whole other look. It's you know it's up on both sides. It's dimensional. If you turn it that way, look look how awesome. You put a nice like I said, crystal in there and you have a great um, breast cancer awareness ribbon to make. And you can make this hole as big or as little as you want. Like I said, you put a hole at the top, you can put hang, dangle a little uh, pink crystal in the middle, would be awesome. Um, you know, so you can have it this way and decorate it whatever way you want it. You can have it this way, so the ribbon is that way. You have a hole at the top. Let's see if you can see it. So you can make it a necklace or whatever you like. And there you go. There's your breast cancer awareness clay ribbon. So simple and easy to make. Now you would just bake it as the directions say. And you could whip out a lot of these. Um, 
and sell them, especially fair times coming, you know, where they have like the fall kind of fairs and that kind of thing. And you can make so many things, earrings, necklace, bracelets, charms, um, whatever, and so many different ways and sizes. And then people can kind of pick, you know, what they want, the, uh, if they wanted earrings or necklaces or whatever. So that's basically it. It's very simple, very easy. And I hope that you guys try it and let me know. And again, love it. So easy. And it's so great to use up your extra clay. And then when you're done, just paint them all and, uh, or just go out and buy a couple things of, of the pink clay that you want. You know, and like I said, think of what you can do. You could put holes on the bottom and hang crystals. You can really, uh, really, really, you know, get these really sparkly and really, really cool. Or you could just have a plane, put a pin on the back and, uh, you would put it on the back of this part once it's baked, uh, a backing, and then you have a pin. So, so many things to do. I hope you guys try it. Thanks a lot. Hope you guys have a great day.